everybody. I have a video to share with you doing my creative diary spread. Um, this one's a little bit old, not really old, but the very end of September and the beginning of October. So I'm starting out using a dilution stencil and it is mazy. And I don't know if they come in small as well, but this one is the large. Sorry, I had to move my chair. So I'm just stenciling it in with some black marble dilutions paint. And I wanted the hair a bit bigger because I plan on putting a collage face in the center. So I just moved the stencil like above the original and just made the hair bigger. It was quite easy to do. I like the look of that too. Hopefully I'll remember to try that again sometime. So now I am taking the cat from the large dilution stencil Edith and doing the same thing. This is one of Diane's newer stencils and it is called Coins. And I'm just creating a border using this stencil. And I didn't want the full circle, like I wanted it to look like it ran off the page a little bit. So I am doing that on purpose. And with there being different size circles, it worked out really well to fit in enough to do the edges on both sides, the short and the long. I really like how this one turned out. It's so simple, but by using all black, it just, I don't know, like it, it makes it bold instead of boring, if you know what I mean. So I thought I would add an, a head to the cat to make it a little different and <laughs> make it more fun. Then I felt the hat needed something on top of it. Now I know the face came from the collage sets one, but I'm not sure about the other face. Like the one with the octopus on it, that one is from set one. But I had a look online because my images are cut up and I don't know what's from what. And I looked online to find pictures but I couldn't see which set it was from. I don't know if it was hidden by another piece. I will double check my collage sets to see if, um, cause I have some on cut. So I'll see if it's in some of those. And if I found, find out which set it's from, then I will, say so in the description box. So I'm just doodling around all my black images with a white Posca pen. I now have the Dilutions black and white, but I didn't have it at the time I was doing this one. And I gotta say, like so far, I am having absolutely no troubles with her paint pens at all, which makes me very happy because I remember the very first time they came out, I was so bummed that mine just did not work. And I don't know if it was user error or if it was just a coincidence, like I had a crappy set. I have no idea, but I have now, um, 
probably four sets, maybe three, I'm not sure how many, and I'm not having problems with any of them, and I've been using them. And I am making sure that the paint is dry and that I'm being very careful. <laughs> okay, I forgot to check the name of this stencil. It's a nice thing about editing and doing a voiceover. I can pause it, go find out the information, and come right back and let you know. So that stencil is a stitch in time. And it also says small, so I'm guessing maybe there's a large one as well. I haven't been doing so great with keeping up with my creative diary lately. I'm not sure what it is. Part of it is memory. Like, I just forget. And then sometimes on the weekend I'll be like, oh, I have to do my spread for creative diary. And then next thing I know it's Monday and I'm like, crap, I forgot to do my spread for the creative diary. So, yeah, my memory gets the blame for everything. But it is true. I mean, my memory's awful. I'm scared for old age. <laughs> I always joke that I'm going to need an ID bracelet. Yeah. Sad, but probably true. So I took that stencil again, the coins, and I did circles on the planner side to put my numbers in. And I'm just loosely sketching circles around with my white Posca pen, and it kind of ties it in really well with the collage side of the spread as well. So I like that. And I love circles. So I'm not sh I don't know if there's anybody that doesn't like circles. I'm sure there is somewhere, but I find a lot of creative people love circles. It just seems to be a common common interest people have. So these are some creative diary die cuts. That's another way that helps add something to your planner side without having to do much work because they're already done for you. They're already stamped. They're already cut. I don't mind stamping so much, but I don't enjoy fussy cutting or coloring in. So I have never colored in one of these die cuts. I don't think I have. I just leave them black and white. So just to add some more stamping on the planner side, I am using this one is from her Dialogue Clear Stamps, and this one's called On the Edge. This one's new to me. That's why I was struggling to get it off the thing. It's been out for probably quite some time, but I only recently got it last month, maybe. That's my first time using it. And I'm about to use the flag, the banner, and write awesome day in it. And what's sad, I can't remember what made it so awesome. <laughs> I have no idea. I know I can go back to my planner now and have a look and it'll tell me, but just watching this video, I cannot remember. And I know this one was done after the week had already started. That's how they've been getting done lately. Yeah. And there was one week I skipped entirely because by the time I got around to it, it was, I think, Thursday or Friday. And I'm like, there's no point. I'm just not going to bother. And that's one of the things I love about this Creative Diary, too, is that it's not dated. You only have the days of the week. 
So if you want to take a break from it, like if you want to take a week off, a month off, half a year, it doesn't matter. You can always just come back and pick it up and start fresh. So there's no guilt of all these blank pages because it's, it's not dated. And I love that. It's perfect for people like me. <laughs> but so far, I have only missed one week. And that's pretty good. Because I think I'm on the fourth month in this planner. One thing I would suggest if you're trying to figure out what supplies you would like to have, like if you want to start the creative diary, I am really loving that stamp set you see to the right. It's the Dialogue Clear Stamps and that one with the, the three, like you'll see me use it because I use it pretty much every single week because I love it. And I tend to use the circles quite a bit on that one too. The rest of them, not so much because I don't tend to do any bullet points, like, but they would be great for doing list. But, which I guess is what you would do in your dialogue. I don't find there's much room in the creative diary for doing list unless you wanted to do it on the decorative side, then you could, like if you have a busy week. But yeah, I'll link, I'll link all the supplies that I use down below and I will definitely link that one because that is a favorite of mine and like I said, I use it pretty much every single week for that one right there that I'm inking up. I just really like the look of it. Like some people may leave theirs blank so they're free to write wherever they want and how much they want. But I love this one. And that was me, not the stamp. Why I didn't get a clear image because I'm not far enough in the planner that there's enough support behind those pages. So I usually stick those Creative Diary stickers in behind the pages. I like the look of having those stamped out blocks. And I don't use my creative diary to write big stories. It's usually just like little notes of something I have to do or just something I want to note that happened. And those ink, mini ink pads, like for me personally, they're plenty. If I had it back, I don't think I would have ever purchased any large ones. I think those mini ones are just great. Now, I don't think I'd want to do without like my bigger black one because I use that for pretty much all stamping, like mixed media and stuff like that. So having a large black one is good. Now, did I miss it? Oh, I just one sec. I was so busy gabbing that I completely missed when I drew in the numbers in the circles for the days of the week. But it's there. I went back to make sure that I hadn't accidentally deleted that little video clip. But it's in there. I was just too busy gabbing. I didn't even see me do it. <laughs> oh boy. That's one thing I do wish I had is her handwriting in larger numbers. Like I have little numbers, but not bigger ones. So for the quote, instead of trying to come up with like all different fonts and, you know, being super duper fancy with quote, I just did my handwriting 
And then this is what I like to do with it. Like I like to go back and thicken up like the tips and some of the lines. Like sometimes I'll just add a little bit to the tops of the T's and like where the line ends. And sometimes I will just thicken up the left side of each letter or I'll do both, which is what I did here. And I find it's very easy, like I've gotten pretty, I think fairly carefree with my hand lettering now. Like I don't worry too much about it. Before I was like doing it in pencil and erasing like crazy and you know, it'll drive yourself nuts. So I've learned to just relax and it's your stuff. At the end of the day, I don't think if your lettering is not perfect, you're going to worry about it too much. And since I've relaxed, I find it comes easier. Imagine when we take the pressure off ourselves. <laughs> so yeah, just do like your hand lettering and then go back and with the same pen marker and thicken up your lines and play with it. And if you feel like you really want the practice first before doing it on your final page, then grab a scrap piece of paper and just play with it. But honestly, the more you play, the better you get. So that is it for this planner spread. I have another one to edit and maybe I'll get that to you this weekend or maybe it'll be early next week. But thanks so much for watching. Bye.